And now, Chief Meteorologist Chad Merrill with your full seven-day forecast. To Newswatch, everyone, we are tracking mostly clear skies, but a couple of showers back through Ohio. There's a push through around 8 or 9 o'clock. About 10 minutes of rain, front pushes through on the backside, we are seeing lower humidity. Let's take our tour, I-77 at flat top. We see some flat top cumulus clouds, which is a sign of fair weather. As we move east along I-64, we are in White Sulphur Springs, where we also have lots of sunshine and some beautiful shadows. Probably a great day to play golf at the Greenbrier. And then as we head up 19, we are in the New River Gorge and we have cumulus clouds there too. So a splendid afternoon with temperatures all across the board in the low to mid 70s. Pineville, lower elevation, so temperatures a little bit warmer at 83 degrees. There's a cooler stripe of air heading for Chicago. That'll be heading south and east behind this front that comes through. Temperatures cooler than 24 hours ago across the Great Lakes. So that's what we're going to see tomorrow is that air mass. Temperatures in the upper 60s instead of the mid to upper 70s and we are going to continue that theme right through the weekend. So after a shower at 9 o'clock we cleared out. We are in the mid 50s when you wake up bright and early tomorrow. Highs in the upper 60s tomorrow. We start out with sun. We get those billowing cumulus clouds. Maybe a shower in the highest elevations, a refreshing breeze though. Northwest gusting to 25 miles per hour. And with those dew points down into the 50s, it will feel spectacular. Low humidity through Tuesday next week, very little in the way of rain. And the heat gets turned on at the middle of next week. Your aches and pains forecast sponsored by ARH, more for Appalachia. As we go over the next couple of days, I really want to point out just where the utilizations are, where the pressure is going to dip a little bit because we have high pressure here through Saturday, a little dip early next week, and then it rises again Wednesday into Thursday. So we're going to fast forward all the way through Thursday. Temperatures above average with these yellow contours. Well, I should say that's the <laughs> this Thursday. We have cooler than average temperatures, I should say, through early next week. And then we really start to rebound. As a matter of fact, if you are complaining because it's too cold to go out to the pools, check out this prolific heat ridge that's going to build in late next week. When you see these red contours, that is excessive heat warning to heat advisory criteria. We are going to see a sustainable period late next week into Father's Day weekend with temperatures well into the 80s all across the region. But in the meantime, we've got 69 degrees on Friday. After upper 40s Friday night, we are in the upper 60s for your weekend. A couple of showers on Sunday, but we stay dry on Saturday. That's good for the Union Farmers Day. Breezy, upper 60s on Monday, and check it out. We are in the upper 70s by Thursday with overnight lows down into the 50s. That's your seven-day forecast. We are back with more news after this break.